tell me when to begin. Before we get down to work, I should like to extend to my colleagues of the Disarmament Subcommittee of the United Nations a wholehearted welcome on behalf of Her Majesty's Government in the United Kingdom. I welcome Mr. Cabot Lodge, United States Representative to the United Nations, Mr. Gromyko, the first Deputy Foreign Minister of the Union of Socialist Soviet Republics, Monsieur Jules Mock, the representative of France, Mr. Norman Robertson, High Commissioner for Canada in London, and Dr. Protich, the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations. Her Majesty's Government is honoured that the subcommittee has decided to meet for the second time in London. We trust that this means that the arrangements made for the first session in this building last summer were satisfactory to all concerned. We could not then offer you many warm sunny days and now I fear that the weather is even worse. But our welcome to you and to your staffs is as warm as the weather is otherwise. We are meeting here today in accordance with the resolution of the United Nations General Assembly of November last, which recommended that this subcommittee should try again to seek an acceptable solution to the problem of disarmament by meeting for private talks among the five of us. I will not discuss the substance of this vast and complex question now. That would not be proper in what is essentially a speech of welcome. I may, however, say without breaking any rules of privacy which govern our talks, that we all recognize the imperative need for agreement upon disarmament. We have been entrusted by the United Nations to try to reach such an agreement. Nobody will deny that this is a formidable undertaking for all our governments. But equally, in this modern scientific age, none of us must spare one ounce of effort in the fulfillment of this trust. All mankind will agree that there is no hope of attaining real and lasting peace without real all-round disarmament. It is in this spirit that my government, and I feel sure all our governments, approach this renewed attempt to seek an agreement. It is in this spirit that on behalf of Her Majesty's government, I bid you welcome here today. And now we must get down to work. I propose, therefore, that we adjourn for five minutes to enable our friends of the press and radio to leave us to discharge our vital task. Is that agreed? The meeting is then adjourned for five minutes. <laughs>